Democrat presidential candidate Kamala Harris is being accused of letting one company continue to exploit her constituents. When America's Bobby Dupree explains. Kamala Harris for the people. California's former attorney general is under fire for failing to investigate the multi-level marketing company known as Herbalife. It makes diet powders and nutritional products that can only be sold through its individual distributors, many of whom are looking to achieve the American dream. $5,000 a month, my God, I'll have my husband here, I have my family here, I have my grandkids here, and, and I'm going to do it. Grandma's going to do it. I lost everything. Critics claim Herbalife is nothing but a pyramid scheme that specifically targets its marketing towards the Latino community. Many former distributors say they were forced to spend thousands of dollars of their own money just to keep up and were forced to scam other Latinos. It's muy doloroso para mí. It's very painful for me because, because I only worried about where to get more money from. What else could I do? How do I generate more money? What else of mine can I sell to be able to pay the rent, the bills, and buy more product? I'll tell you very openly and honestly, I was afraid of being homeless. Back in 2013, groups like the League of United Latin American Citizens urged Harris to look into Herbalife, but their requests fell on deaf ears. Documents obtained by Yahoo News also shows that the San Diego office of the California Attorney General also pled with Harris to conduct an investigation. In 2015, prosecutors sent her a letter requesting two full-time attorneys, at least three legal assistants, and even officers to conduct undercover operations. Officials claim Herbalife looked clean on the outside, but could be, quote, engaged in less obvious conduct. La misma situación de uno. Your own situation pushes you to make the sacrifice so you can move forward and so people fall in the trap. They fall in the Herbalife trap. Ultimately, Harris still refused to investigate Herbalife. Three weeks after officials in San Diego sent that letter, Harris's campaign received its first of just a few donations from D.C. lobbyist Heather Podesta. Heather's former husband, Tony, founded the infamous Podesta Group, which worked for Herbalife at the time. Reports show Heather Podesta's own firm was later hired by Herbalife. In addition, Harris's own husband has connections to the company. He was at one time employed by a prominent law firm that represented Herbalife. Life. The Harris campaign has responded to the outcry, claiming the lawmaker has a long record of going after bad corporate actors and delivering results for people who have been taken advantage of. But activists disagree, saying she declined to fight against the exploitation of her Latino constituents. I didn't want to talk about it with my family. I was shutting down because I was depressed because the product wasn't selling and I was not recovering the money or my health. They would tell me, so where's your American dream? Where's your brand new car? Where's your mansion? I was a joke. Now Harris is on a quest for the presidency in 2020. I knew I wanted to protect people. The people in our society who are most often targeted by predators are also most often the voiceless and vulnerable. Despite her campaign, some question whether she's genuine or if it's all just political optics. Bobby Dupree, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.